Hey guys, welcome to your notes. Uh, we're continuing with 5.6 with FTC part two, but now applying a chain rule. So if F is continuous on a closed interval and the function G is defined to be this function from A to some U of X of F of T DT, um, then we can apply chain rule when we find the derivative. So um, let's do a quick demonstration of why that is true. So let's say I define g of x to be the antiderivative from 1 to x squared of t dt. So I can tell this looks a lot like um, FTC part 2. It's from a constant. But now it's to a function larger than one variable. So if I find the antiderivative first, that becomes t squared over 2 evaluate it from 1 to x squared. So that would make g of x equal to x to the fourth over 2 minus 1 half. So um, g prime of x is 4x cubed over 2 minus 0, which is 2x cubed. But if I look at that, that's the same as x multiplied by 2x, which is the derivative of x squared. So if we have a function um, set up like FTC number 2, but that top integral is a function larger than x, we need to multiply by its derivative on the end. So let's go ahead and apply that in the first example below. We're trying to take the derivative with respect to x of this definite integral from 1 to x um, by FTC number 2. That is going to be 1 over x squared multiplied by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So it will equal 2 over x. Here in part D, I mean, I'm sorry, in number two, we're trying to find the derivative with respect to x of this function, which looks very similar to FTC part two, except for the constant is up here at top. And it should be at the bottom before we can apply it. So I'm going to use my properties of integrals and make it negative d dx, integral from two to cosine x, of t squared plus one dt. So now this is looking like FTC part two from a constant to a function. So this becomes negative cosine squared x plus one multiplied by the derivative of cosine squared or of cosine, which is negative sine x. So these double negatives cancel out. And sine x times cosine squared x plus one using FTC number two. So I should have said uh, FTC number two. Now mind you, on the AP exam, um, uh, it might be nice to say that you're using the FTC number two, but I think it's more important that you can apply it. All right, let's try another one together in the next video.